<laughs> Though the audience of union members was friendly, the Prime Minister's trip to Philadelphia was all about playing defense. More than ever, we should remind ourselves of how priceless a partnership like ours is. Justin Trudeau was here to shore up Canada's renewed American trade strategy, an approach based on direct outreach to state governments and organized labor, working around the political uncertainty in Washington. In this moment of turbulence, it's so important to strengthen and deepen our relationships with like-minded friends and allies. Left unsaid is that the Trudeau government is deeply worried about the prospect of a second Donald Trump presidency. It is to the benefit of Americans and Canadians to continue to work well together regardless of who's in the White House. Trump has threatened to impose a 10% tariff on all foreign imports, even from allies. In Canada's eyes, tariffs are a non-starter, just years after Trump forced the renegotiation of NAFTA. The new administration will make the choices that we make, they make, but our position is that is not the deal that we negotiated. The Trade experts the warn it's not so simple, and Trump could still make things difficult. He knows what he wants right out of the gates. The president can impose those at least for a short period of time until Congress pulls them back. So that's going to be really disruptive for Canada. That's why the stakes of the Team Canada approach are so high, a workaround for what may come around in November's election. We will be there to defend effectively uh, against uh, unfair or punitive tariffs on Canadians because we know uh, it'll be a lose-lose uh, on both sides of the border. While the Canadian delegation is diplomatic about potential election outcomes, the Prime Minister did meet privately with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris just moments after she had delivered a fiery speech in which she warned that Donald Trump poses an existential threat to American democracy. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Philadelphia.